Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Dylan here. Welcome back to the um, Gaines Hub. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. Okay, so uh, in today's video we have a new article update. Basically, Uber CEO is gonna be deactivating a crazy amount of drivers. So you wanna make sure you don't miss this video. If you are still active, check out Solo, link below. So Work Solo is an incredible business app for gig workers, for drivers. They help drivers simplify their independent work by optimizing their income, tracking mileage, and guaranteeing their pay. You can basically clock in for these little shifts so you, you, know, you make sure that you do hit those hourly rates. And if you don't, they will pay you the difference. So Solo is incredible. And right now, if you work for any of these apps, if you have an active gig account, meaning you've done at least one ride or trip, they will send you $10 simply for signing up for free anywhere in the country. So sign up for free, get your free 10 bucks, link your, link your account, make sure you link the account, the active one, and get your $10 so you can guarantee your daily pay and uh, start tracking your miles properly, not using the you know the low low mileage that Uber and Lyft tell you. So Uber CEO, look at this. They're going to deactivate any driver who drives a gas powered car. I myself will be deactivated. Why? Because there's no way, no chance in he heaven, hell, or planet earth where I will, or purgatory for that matter, where I will be going out and buying an electric car to drive for Uber. I'm sorry, but you will not see me going out and financing a $30,000, $40,000 car so I can make payments and go drive for Uber. And by the way, with the price of inflation, these cars are probably going to be around fifty grand, sixty grand, seventy grand by the time 2030 even hits. That's six, seven years from now. So Uber CEO said, we have a target to be fully electric in the U.S., Canada, and Europe. So in all of Europe, all of Canada, all of the United States, if you're driving a gas-powered car, boom, off the app, boom, sayonara, lady, sayonara, brother. You have to drive, you have to go buy an electric car. And by the way, Uber and Lyft, they ain't giving you electric cars. You gotta go buy it yourself. And guess what, guys? There will be plenty of Uber drivers who say, yes, yes, master, I will go finance this car and I will now have a $800 car payment or a $500 car payment and I will drive Uber to pay off my car and I will charge my car for Uber. I will pay for all of my electricity for Uber and my car's price is going down in value. And yes, sir, yes, Dara Koshasari, I will do whatever. Bots, sheep, basically people who are abiding by these rules. And guess what? I don't think, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea to go finance a car at all. I always preach on my show, go find, go uh, buy, go save up cash to buy a four, five, six thousand dollar car. And yeah, you can go on Facebook Marketplace. I'll do it right now. You know, why not? Just so I can prove all my haters wrong. So let's see. You go, let's say, let's find a 20, let's do 2011 Ford Fusion, right? I don't know why I did Ford Fusion, but whatever. Look at this. You can go buy a Ford Fusion for seven grand. 3,500 bucks. Yeah, oh, yeah, that one, that's 200,000. This is a great one. Here we go. You can go buy this car for five grand. It's got 113,000 miles on it. Ford Fusion is probably gonna last till it hits 250, 250,000. You can go buy this car for right now if you drive for Uber. You don't need to go buy a brand new fancy car. This looks fine. Clean, they should, I mean, it's kind of nice that they didn't clean it because you're getting a better deal. But like, you just get a vacuum, get some wipes, you're good to go, bro. This looks fine. This looks great. I mean, this is even has like, you know, a screen in here. This is kind of a fancier car and it's a 2013 sports edition. I mean, this is like a nice car. I mean, if anybody's in Southern California, go to go buy this car right now. I mean, this go, go buy this car or finance this car. You know, I usually don't talk about financing, but if you don't have the money, you know, go finance it. You got a $150 car payment, um, $160 car payment, whatever you get. Try to get a low interest rate. And you know, don't go out and buy a brand new freaking electric car for Uber. I'm sorry, but like if you do, or don't go out and buy a brand new car for Uber. You you know, they're they want you to do that. They want you to go finance this car, these cars and go buy it. That's what they want you to do. They want you to believe that, oh yeah, you can make 30, 40, 50 dollars an hour. Ho ho ho. Oh yeah, they don't they're not telling you, oh yeah, factor in your expenses, factor in your miles, factor in your gas, factor factor in your electricity costs. 
They don't want you to think like that. They just want you to think the gross income. There are expenses that come. Koshasari told CBS reporter, we have a target to be fully electric in US, Canada, and Europe. Although we're still a few years from the deadline, Uber's already finding ways to make it easier for its users to request to ride an electric car with Comfort Electric Service. Yeah, guys, they're slowly and slowly gonna, I mean, even right now, a great example is they have the Uber, what is it, Uber Green $1 extra pay for drivers. Um, yeah, so basically what Uber does is that drivers of fully electric vehicles are eligible for zero emissions incentive which lets them earn an extra one dollar on every uber rides trip so basically what they're trying to do is incentivize drivers to switch over to electric cars but you can only make up to four thousand dollars extra per year which what is that 200 200 bucks a month three oh no that's 300 bucks a month if you're doing 300 rides i mean this is the, the problem with this is that drivers are going to see this and be like, oh my god, I can make an extra dollar per ride. Let me go finance a forty, fifty thousand dollar car because I can use that money to pay it off. And by the way, this is going to, they, you know, they, they change things all the time. They're, they're going to make it this year and then next year you're going to, oh, we're, our limit's actually only two thousand dollars. We just did four thousand for the first year. And then it's going to go to one thousand and then it's oh, five hundred dollars only and then it's going to go away. And now you're stuck with this. Uh, finance electric vehicle that you finance for six years you got a car payment for six years and you drive for uber oh and by the way another issue is that they they're gonna deact they can deactivate you at any time so you go out and do three four thousand rides we've we've had drivers on the show who did nineteen thousand rides five-star driver boom deactivated because somebody said they were driving drunk at 7 a.m i mean it's just like they they want they the thing is they they over they over promise and under deliver they say oh yeah you can make all this money you can make all this money you can do this you do that drive your own schedule but it's like when you get deactivated and you have an issue there's nobody to call or you call Uber support and they they you know they they got nothing to tell you they so sorry we can't de we can't reactivate accounts it's like what so you mean I just bought if I just financed a brand new fifty thousand electric car and you deactivated me like and I and then you're stuck with an electric car and you you know you can file bankruptcy. I mean, these things are very real. Anyways, I'm rambling as heck right now, but anyways, that's just kind of my uh, spiel with this. I'm kind of anti, I mean, I don't have, I'm, I mean, I don't have really have anything against electric cars in themselves, but this whole like, we, you're forcing people, forcing drivers to go out and buy electric cars just so they can stay active still, it's a little scary to me. I don't really agree with it, so. I'm going to end it there. Let me know your thoughts on this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you think this is great and saving the world, save making the world a better place. Let me know. Give me your logic. Give me your thoughts. Give me your opinion down below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, sign up for Solo. Sign up for Solo. Get your $10 by signing up with our link and linking your gig account. And you can optimize your income, track your mileage, and guarantee your pace. When you go do go out and drive, you are making that guaranteed amount and that guarantee. So they have a free version nationwide where you can sign up and get your 10 bucks where it has a lot of features. And then they also have the pay guarantee feature, which is expanding to a lot of new cities. So if you check this about a couple months ago, you didn't see half of these on there. They're expanding and I'm assuming they're going to be expanding to more cities as more users sign up. So sign up in California, sign up in um, New York, sign up in uh some of these other you know south dakota north dakota sign up in some of the, some of these other areas so that they can expand there i mean even in like you know as you can see there's a lot of people in in texas so they're hitting these major markets florida as well um so i'm assuming they're going to be expanding to more as more users sign up so uh check out solo link below get your 10 bucks anyways guys thanks for watching take care and we'll talk soon bye now